Following the passage of Tropical Storm Kirk, the National Emergency Management Organization, NEMO, at approximately 11 a.m. on September 28, gave the all clear. At which time the director of NEMO also indicated that commercial operations were free to resume business at 1 p.m. She stated that over the next 24 hours, winds would be blowing from the southeast at about 27 miles per hour or 43 kilometers per hour, with higher gusts near 40 miles per hour or 64 kilometers per hour. The weather was noted as being cloudy to overcast, with moderate to heavy showers, thunderstorms and gusty winds. Even though the eye of the storm had passed hours before, she urged those in flood and landslide prone areas to take all necessary precautions against these hazards. Meanwhile, small craft operators were strongly advised to remain in port on Friday due to gusty winds and rough seas. The National Emergency Management Organization has consulted with the St. Lucia Met Office and other relevant parties, and we wish to advise that as of 11 a.m. today, Friday, September 28th, 2018, that the tropical storm warning for St. Lucia has been lifted. In that regard, normal operations would resume at 1 p.m. today. That applies to the private sector as well as the public sector. I wish to indicate that we have had consultations with the Chamber of Commerce and the decision is that at, as of 1 p.m. today, normal commercial or business operations would resume. The St. Lucia Electricity Services Limited indicated that while there was no damage to any of the major electricity infrastructure, such as substations or any of the generation systems, several areas overnight were without power. This was as a result of trees or branches falling on electricity lines, fallen poles, and in a few areas where lines had dropped due to the high winds. Power restoration work had begun and some of the areas that were without power last night had been restored including Sufre. There were still several areas without power as well as some areas with fallen poles and lines on the ground. Lucilek advises the public to exercise extreme caution and to stay away from the downed lines. Some of the wider areas still without power include Grosile for Bonseju, Bonte and Kaimaje, Marisil for Chuya and Bwadwaj, Moshi for Deromo and Plato, Babono Bogis into Geno, top of one fortune through Pave into Forestier. In the south, Peru into Bellevue, Viewfort and Estang to Jalousi. Steady progress is being made with power restoration work. Expectations are that the majority of those affected will have power restored by the end of the day. From the Government Information Service, I am Janelle Norville.